So today we got questions about uh, symmetrical versus asymmetrical. When do you use them? You know, the, the biggest problem people run into is they build an arsenal and then they get lost in it. They get confused. When do I throw this? What should I use that? What does this do? How should that work? Um, in a lot of cases, more is less and less is more. You know, you, you, you have uh, less balls, you have more, more ability to, to make moves uh, and more predictability. When you have a lot of balls in your arsenal, next thing you know, you're lost in there saying, what should I throw and where should I throw it? So let's just talk about two basic things, uh, the A symbol and the symmetrical ball. Okay, the number one characteristic of the A symbol is the down lane motion, the reaction off the spot. So you take a typical ASIM ball and you're going to get a quicker, more violent reaction down lane. When you take a symmetrical ball, you're going to get a gradual, more continuous motion. Okay, both of these can hit the pocket. One of them will strike more than the other, depending on what you bowl on. Um, depending on the situation, an asymmetrical ball has a quicker reaction to friction. It's going to turn quicker, it's going to have a sharper angle of entry, um, but it's going to peel off energy quicker. So your, your um, skid zone is longer, your hook zone is sharper and shorter, and your roll zone is, is shorter as well. So you have skid, hook, and roll. Okay? Same situation here, except in this case, they could be the same length of skid, but your hook zone is much longer much longer. And therefore your roll zone will probably be more continuous. Because the more gradual use of energy, it peels off gradually. In this case, that hook zone is sharper and quicker. So if you're not in the right spot coming off that uh, down, lane, down lane friction, that ball could roll out and you can flat 10 the rest of your life. In that case, a symmetrical ball may be the best because it'll peel off for gradual and be more continuous. But some cases, this ball won't give you enough back end to strike you have to go to an asymmetrical ball. But it's all down here, it's the length of the hook zone. And that's the difference between the asymmetrical ball and the symmetrical ball. Drop us some comments in the uh, section below. Let us know what you think, and was this helpful? And we'll go from there.